in Indiana. A very pivotal Big Ten game today between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Indiana Hoosiers. Both teams coming in here with a 2-2 two and two record. Indiana 1-1 one one in the Big Ten. Iowa 1-0. Oh. Iowa coming off back-to-back -back victories over Arizona and Northwestern. Indiana off a loss at Michigan last week, but they played the Wolverines very tough, losing 24-10. Iowa will kick off Reggie Roby during the kicking off. Indiana will be deep to receive, defending the North goal. Back deep to receive for the Indiana Hoosiers. Bobby Howard and Dwayne Gunn, both speedsters. And Reggie Roby kicking off for the Hawkeyes. The wind at his back. And it's a line drive kick taken by Howard. About a yard deep in the end zone, he'll bring it out. And he's hammered down at about the 23-yard line. Keith Hunter, a backup defensive back, made the tackle for the Iowa Hawkeyes. First and 10, Indiana. The ball at the 23-yard line. We're just underway here in Bloomington, Indiana. 89, the speedster Dwayne Gunn lines up to the near side. He's the man to watch. And Indiana, as we expected, goes out of the shotgun. And Loffenberg fires over the middle. Completes it to Scott McNabb, his big tight end. Larry Station. The freshman out of Omaha, Nebraska, made the tackle for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let's set that offensive front line for the Indiana Hoosiers. Six for the Indiana Hoosiers. After a gain of about four on that pass from Loffenberg to McNabb. And the pitch will go to Minio. And a fumble. And Iowa recovers it. It's Clay Eulenhaek at the 23-yard line. Mike Giacullo forced that fumble. And Eulenhaek, the big senior, has it. Yatulo, by the way, already has three fumble recoveries in the early going. It has been very wet, very damp here all morning long in Bloomington, Indiana. And this guy, Chuck Long, is the quarterback. We'll set that backfield for you shortly. The handoff, straight ahead. This is Norm Granger, a gain of about five yards. Jeff McBain makes the tackle. He's starting in the place of senior co-captain Mark Longshore. Long, the sophomore out of Wheaton, Illinois, the quarterback. And off straight ahead again, it's Granger. And he has the first down across the 10, down to about the 8 and a half yard line. The Hawkeyes blowing some big holes up the middle. Let's set that offensive alignment for you. It's Ben Phillips lining up behind Long. First and goal, Hawkeyes. And this is Phillips. Across the five, down to the four-yard line. Gets a couple of great blocks there by Hufford and Gill as well. Mark Weiler, the leading tackler for the Indiana Hoosiers, made the tackle down at about the four-yard line. 12.50 left to play here in the first quarter. The handoff straight ahead to Granger, fighting for yardage up near the end zone. And a fumble, and Indiana has the football. Indiana recovered a fumble by Norm Granger at the one-foot line. Mark Weiler made the stop, and we'll see who made the fumble recovery. It appears that Jimmy Hunter made the fumble recovery, number 38, the 6'1 senior out of Tampa, Florida. We mentioned that it was wet here before the ball game. Stranger fumbled the football. Indiana, first and 10, the ball at the one foot line. The handoff straight ahead to the fullback, Jack Walsh. Walsh, a 6'1 junior out of Elk Grove, Illinois, averaging just over five yards of carry. Clay Eulenhake, who made the fumble recovery, made the tackle literally in the shadow of their own goal line. Again, they give it to the big fullback, Jack Walsh. Clay Eulenhake again making the tackle. A gain of about five on the play. Jeff Weevil made that. Third down and four for the Hoosiers back at their own six-yard line. And out of the shotgun is Loffenberg. The handoff to the fullback, Walt. Larry Station makes the tackle at about the nine-yard line, so it'll bring up a punting situation. And Iowa would miss a golden opportunity to score after the fumble recovery by Eulenhage will get great field position. Rasmick has had some problems. Running line drives. Let's see what he gets off right here. Good rest by Iowa. And Holly with a fair crash. Fair catch at the 41-yard line. At the 41-yard line, just 41 yards away from the end zone. 
Again, it's long at quarterback. The pitch to Phillips. He's got Granger out in front of him. Phillips fighting off tacklers. He's got the first down up near the 30-yard line. Good leg drive by Eddie Phillips. Tom Hendrickson, the strong safety, made the tackle for Indiana. First and 10, Iowa, the ball at the 30-yard line. 10.44 left to play here in the first period. Again, it's Phillips. And he gains maybe one and runs literally into a sea of red shirts season for the Iowa Hawkeyes. He led them to a birth in the Rose Bowl last year. Long first passing attempt. And an incomplete pass fired to Eddie Phillips. Wilbur was on the coverage at that time. Indiana has a very good secondary play for both teams. Third and nine. Fake the draw. Huffered over the middle just wide open. Nobody covering him. First down Iowa. First and goal win back. First and goal of the seven. The option. Long will keep it. And he's down to about the one yard line. Denver Smith tackles Chuck Long. A very dangerous runner, Lee Corso called him. Long runs very well for a big guy at 6'4", 185 pounds. Very smart runner. And the handoff will go to Phillips. Iowa touchdown. So with 8.47 left to play in the first quarter, Eddie Phillips goes over for one yard out, a 41-yard drive after the short punch. And the Iowa Hawkeyes are on the board. A lot of Iowa fans here in Bloomington, Indiana, and they like what they see in the first five minutes and 13 seconds of this ballgame. Tommy Nickel in to attempt the extra point. Tom Grogan doing the holding. And Nickel is perfect as he has been all season long. Iowa leads it. Seven to nothing. We'll be right back. Kicking off again for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Just a few minutes after he kicked off to Bobby Howard. And it is Howard and Gun deep again for the Hoosiers. And this time. Roby says, uh-uh, you aren't going to run this baby out. A very dangerous passer. He's got a very dangerous receiver in Dwayne Gunn, number 89. Loffenberg looks for Gunn. He's got it at about the 32-yard line. And he may go all the way. Dwayne Gunn, only one man to beat. And Devon Mitchell finally wrestles Gunn out of bounds in Iowa territory at the 43-yard line. Dwayne Gunn, who broke two long gainers against the Iowa Hawkeyes last year in Iowa City in the Hawks' 42-28 victory, got the ball in the open field, and he can move. Loffenberg to Gunn, and a big gain into Hawkeye territory. They'll throw it out to the back this time. Minio, gain of about three or four yards down to about the 39-yard line. 758 and counting down here in the first period. Iowa leads it seven to nothing. Good again. Out of the shotgun. And penalty markers are down as the pass is fired incomplete to Scott McNabb, the tight end. We'll check out the penalty marker. First and ten Indiana after the defensive holding call. The ball now on the 29-yard line. Injury. They're going with the number three tailback. That's John Minio, number 33. And he'll get the pitch. Minio cuts back. Boy, it doesn't look like a number three tailback there. He picks up the first down. Indiana has driven the football 62 yards already. They started at their own 20 after Iowa's touchdown. Iowa leads it 7-0. First and 10, Indiana. The ball at the 18-yard line. Loffenberg to his fullback. Walt, nothing. Larry Stacius. Boy, a linebacker that just keeps learning in a big way each ball game. Into the shotgun. Minio on his left, Walsh on his right. He flips it out to Minio. Strobel to beat. And Strobel knocks Minio out of bounds at about the 16-yard line. It'll be a gain of just two on the play. Strobel, a fine defensive effort. Weeble, who was injured earlier. Third and eight. Big play both ways. Iowa leads it seven to nothing. Loffenberg back on that ginger ankle. He's got time to throw. And incomplete, almost intercepted. 
Intended for McNabb, Devon Mitchell there on the coverage. Doug Smith, a six-foot sophomore from Hillsboro, California. He's hit on four or six field goal attempts. This one from the 23-yard line. A 33-yard attempt, and it's good. And Indiana's on the scoreboard. The score now with 6.37 left to play in the first period. Iowa 7, Indiana 3. We'll be right back. Hawkeyes, J.C. Love Jordan, and the speedster, Paul McCarty, and it's a squib kick. And Iowa has it down at the 32-yard line. Vince Campbell, no Mike Hufford. Very well using their fullback, Norm Granger. Behind the blocks of Joel Hilgenberg, the very fine center. Chuck Long, the quarterback. And here it is, Granger. He gets only a couple this time. Mark Smith made the tackle from his left tackle position for the Indiana Hoosiers. A lot of offense so far, and a lot of people expected a defensive struggle. Second down and nine. The pitch will go to Phillips. And he can't find anything around the right side. Marlon Evans, a former Big Ten linebacker, made the tackle for Indiana. Jordan split out to the near side. Dave Morse on the right side. And Long will keep it on the option. And he's wrestled down after a gain of one or two by Dennis Edwards and several other red-shirted Hoosiers. And the Hoosiers have hell. And that fires up a homecoming crowd here in Bloomington. The injuries really hurt him. Reggie Roby, the Big Ten's leading punter in punt formation. Not much of a rush at all. And look at that punt by Roby. Into the end zone, a 66-yard punt by Reggie Roby. In Indiana, last time they marched the football 80 yards and picked up a field goal. Loppenberg having trouble setting up. You can see him limp back there and fires over the middle to his tight end, McNabb. Scott McNabb, the repenter. The ball at the 30-yard line. Four minutes left to play here in the first quarter. Iowa leads it 7-3. to three. High formation. Loppenberg gives it to Minio. He'll pick up three yards up to the 33, matching his number. Mark Ford, six for Indiana. Loppenberg taking his time. And they'll give it to Minio again. He breaks one tackle. And he's up near the first down. Dave Strobel along with Station and Dave Chambers there. But a gain of about five on the play. It'll bring up a third and a very short one. Third and short. See if the fullback gets it. And he does. And Walt up near the 40-yard line. It's going to be very, very close. He has to get across that 40-yard line. Fourth and inches. And will Lee Corso gamble at this point? He doesn't have a real good running game. Apparently, he's going to gamble at his own 40-yard line early in the ballgame. Hmm. A momentum builder either way. Fourth and inches for the Indiana Hoosiers at their own 40-yard line. The pitch will go to Minio. He does not have the first down. He does not have the first down. Iowa's. Young defense makes the stop. And we mentioned it could be a momentum builder either way. Three. Long to Phillips. He'll try the short side. And Indiana has adjusted very well on that particular play. Iowa ran it to perfection last week against Northwestern. Of course, the Wildcats are not noted for their defense. Denver Smith made the tackle that time. Crowd on hand here in Bloomington. They'll try to pitch to this side, and it's Phillips. Hammered down by Tom Hendrickson. Made the initial stop there on Phillips after a gain of about four. The ball will be set down on the 36-yard line. Bring up a third and six situation. Earlier, they found Hufford wide open over the middle on a pass play. And they fake the draw, and there it is again. Oh, almost a tremendous catch by Hufford. He was wide open. Tom Hendrickson there on the coverage, but Long had Hufford wide open and just overshot him. Hufford went up in the air. He's having trouble getting back up. Almost a tremendous reception by Mike Hufford, the junior out of Mount Vernon. Long will fake the draw to Norm Granger, his fullback. 
and that will free Hufford over the linebacker, Marlon Evans. Did you see Evans react that time to Granger? A 49-yarder last week will try a 53-yarder. Tommy Nickel, line drive, and no good. Wide to the left side. 52 seconds left to play here in the first period. Indiana has the football now at the 36-yard line. Dave Loffenberg again, the quarterback. Walsh and Minio behind it. And this, excuse me, that's not Minio at all. That's Dwayne Gunn lining up in the tailback spot. Dwayne Gunn lined up in the tailback spot, and they tried to pitch the sweep to the right side. And Gunn was tackled by Javon Mitchell. Mike Huffer being attended to along the sideline. Taking a look at his right knee. This could be the final play of the first period, nearing the 22nd marker. And this time, Gunn will line up as a wide out on the right side, and Minio is indeed the tailback. Second down and 13. And they'll try the end around. And they'll gain about five or six yards with it. Third down and three. Loppenberg again, taking his time. He'll drop back. Gunn is open over the middle. And so is Minio. And Minio picks up the first down as the quarter end. Larry Station made the tackle for the Iowa Hawkeyes. And Iowa leads it 7-3. We'll be back for a second quarter action right after this. The ball on their own 48-yard line. And it's Loffenberg setting up. Lots of time. Going long. To the home run, man. Touchdown, Indiana. Dwayne Gunn. And the extra point by Judge Smith is good. And the score. Indiana, 10. Iowa, 7. We'll be right back. Gunn has just electrified this homecoming crowd in Bloomington, Indiana. And Indiana has taken a 10 to 7 lead. Joe Fitzgerald, a backup linebacker, kicks off. And J.C. Lesgarden will let it go out to the back of the end zone. So here in the first 15 minutes and 6 seconds. And let's see what the Hawkeyes have in mind. The pitch back goes to Owen Gill. He tries to hurdle a couple of Hoosiers. Gains about behind long. And it's Gill, and he fumbled the football. And I believe he has it back. He never got the hand out there from Chuck Long. Now Indiana has come back on top, 10 to 7. And Long will keep it on the option. Not much there, a gain of about three. That option doesn't work real well inside unless you get the blockers to clear everybody away. Dennis Edwards makes the tackle for the red-shirted Hoosiers. So a punting situation for Reggie Roby and crew down from his 49.8 yard average of a year ago. Bobby Howard is deep for Indiana. And look at this punt. Back at this 10 yard line. And Tim Wilbur brings it out to the 25 yard line. Tim Wilbur who's broken a few for long returns returns that football to the 26 yard line. And Dwayne Gunn almost lines up a quarterback. He goes in motion. Babe Loffenberg out of the shotgun. Everybody out for a pass. And Loffenberg just dumps it off. And Gunn again will go in motion. And this time they'll go to the draw play. Orlando Brown, the leading ground gainer for Indiana in the ball game now. Dane Corbin made the tackle on Orlando Brown, I formation. And it will go to Brown. Nothing doing around the right side. Larry Station and Dave Brown there. Brown had his helmet just fly right off. Tony Wanchett made Pesnick. Got off about a 30-yarder last time. This time he has the wind at his back. And it's a high punt and a good one by Rasmus. At Pauley back at his own 15-yard line. Can he get to the outside? No, he can't. Tackle down to the 13-yard line, but a flag goes down. Nate Porters is there, along with Joe Fitzgerald, but a flag is down. 
set back Granger and Phillips behind Long. Long has Phillips open on the swing pass. Phillips will gain about two. That's it. Jimmy Hunter made the tackle. The help there from Jeff McBain as well. A gain of two. Granger bursting up the middle. A gain of about seven or eight yards. Very close to an Iowa first down. Marlon Evans made the tackle on the quick hitter. Norm Granger. He's up the side. Gill and Phillips behind Long. Out of the eye. And Phillips is wide open, and the pass is knocked down. Second down and 10. Twin backs this time. Love Jordan to the near side. And it's a draw play to Granger. Big hole. Two men to beat. And he's wrestled out of bounds by Tom Hendrickson. First and 10 aisle. The ball is the 41. And they'll take that draw again. Long. He'll run with the football and he'll fall down. He had himself about 10 yards wide open field, but it has been raining here. A wet 11 for Iowa. Long, rolling this way. Firing to Love Jordan. Excellent catch. On the far side, Mort to the near side. Twin backs are Gill and Phillips. Long will go to Phillips. He's got blockers in front of him. And he's got the first down. 7.54 left to play before halftime, and nobody's there, so Long will keep the football. A mix-up in the backfield, Jimmy Hunter wrestles down Chuck Long. Back position, and that was the ball game. Michigan won by two touchdowns. Eddie Phillips, the ball carrier. He breaks into the Indiana secondary and picks up another Iowa first down. Marlon Evans making the tackle for Indiana, but Ohio, the ball is the 13. Long takes the option. Will he run with it? Will he throw it? He's going to run it across the 10, 5, down to about the 4-yard line. Gill and Granger and Kelly O'Brien in the backfield behind Long. And it will go to Gill. Straight ahead, he's got the first down. Gill at fullback. The slot man is O'Brien. And the hand off to Phillips. Touchdown, Iowa. Eddie Phillips puts the Iowa Hawkeyes in front again with 6-10 left to play before halftime. Into attempt a conversion out of Tom Brogan's hole. Indiana got in there in a hurry, but it's good. Iowa leads it 14-10 with 6-10 left to play before halftime. We'll be these boots. And Bobby Howard will take it about a yard deep, and he's going to bring it out. Trying to find a hole there in the middle. And he's hammered to the turf at about the 23-yard line. Dave Chambers got him, along with Keith Hunter. First and 10, Indiana, the ball at the 24-yard line. Loffenberg back on that injured ankle again. Has a man open over the middle. John Boyd has it for an Indiana first down. First and 10, Indiana. Loffenberg in the shotgun. And he'll fire it out here to Orlando Brown. And this man can fly if he gets down to the sideline. And Orlando Brown knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Loffenberg, lots and lots of time again. He's got a man wide open. It's McNabb down inside the 10-yard line. Ron Holly made the tackle. The tight end, Scott McNabb, running a little delay pattern out of the right flat, and he was wide open. The nine-yard line, first and goal. Orlando Brown, down to about the six. There's a fumble on the play, but no, the ball was down. Orlando Brown, 4.35 left to play here before halftime. Moffenberg with the I formation behind him. And he'll give it to the big fullback. Walt up to about the two yard line. A gain of three. Larry Station, the freshman, pressed into duty because of injuries to Urban. 
And it's Minio. He will not get in. In fact, I don't think he got any yardage at all. Mike Giacullo led a defensive third. Paul Hufford gets up. Dave Brown was there. Fourth and goal at the two-yard line. He may, in fact, have lost about six. Left to play before halftime. Here's the call. Loffenberg will throw. He falls down. Loffenberg fell down. He's had trouble setting up on the bad ankle. He slipped just a little bit. Back at the 10-yard line. I for the cup will go to Phillips. He'll try it up the middle. Iowa, you would imagine, would just keep the football on the ground, play it conservatively, and hope to go into the locker room with that four-point lead. Indiana, not in a hurry to call any kind of a timeout, but line there. Second down and nine. Again, it's Phillips. And he looked like he was just about ready to break free when Marlon Evans put his big red arms around him and knocked him down at about the goal situation back at the 10. Third and four after a gain of five by Phillips. 145 and counting down. Long, looking. Can he pick up the first down here? He's got to get across the 20. He goes down at about the 19. He'll be short. Reggie Roby in punt formation. 128 left to play before halftime. Roby needs to get off a good one. And it's almost blocked. Wilbur back at around the 30-yard line. Wilbur trying the near sideline. Breaks free. Gets away. He's still on his feet. This man can dance anywhere he wants to. Tim Wilbur to the Iowa 45-yard line after a 50-yard boot by Reggie Roby. High formation. Offenberg taking his time a little bit. Steps up gingerly. Fires over the middle. Intended for McNabb, and he just plain dropped it. Second down and 10 for Indiana. Out of the shotgun this time. And it's complete to Chris Cook. Inside the 40-yard line, down to about the 37-yard line. 14 to 10, but here come the Hoosiers knocking on the door. Shotgun for Babe Loffenberg and company. A little bit more of a pass rush this time. It's McNabb wide open over the middle. The big tight end has it down inside the 15-yard line. Ron Holley makes a touchdown-saving tackle on Scott McNabb. Clock stops for the first down, 47 seconds. And now they wind it up again. First and 10, the ball at the 12. Loffenberg looking, firing, touchdown! John Boyd, an outstanding reception, about two yards deep in the end zone on a great bullet pass from Babe Loffenberg. And Indiana on top again. Doug Smith with a conversion tip. He is perfect. And Indiana, behind a very enthusiastic homecoming crowd, Leeds, Iowa, 17 to 14. Back deep to receive for the Iowa Hawkeyes. It's McCarty and Love Jordan. And here's Fitzgerald's boot. And this is McCarty. Can't find the handle. He has it now at about the six yard line. And he's down at the 11 yard line. Joe Fitzgerald, the man who did the kicking off. Kind of hard to believe, isn't it? Ohio State goes down to Wisconsin and Northwestern beats Minnesota. Crazy year in the Big Ten. Drop play to Granger, he gets away. Granger will gain about seven yards. He was caught in the backfield. Jimmy Hunter finally made the tackle on Norm Granger, who got away somehow from Mark Smith. Averaging nearly seven yards a carry. A fine effort here this afternoon. Iowa trails by three. It's Phillips with the first down and more across the 23-yard line up to the 24. Into 14. 13.55 left to play in the third period. Iowa, long, back to pass. As a man out here, it's Granger. And he's tackled from behind by number 58, Denver Smith, the senior out of Dayton, Ohio. He grabs Granger as he crosses the 31-32-yard line. The back, the handoff goes to Gill. 
and he can't find anything. Marlon Evans, the man there to greet it. Important play here, both ways. The handoff. No, Long will keep it. He's got the first down. Boy, he just had a beautiful fake that time. Chuck Long. Takes a draw. Long, looking for Hufford over the middle. Almost caught, almost intercepted. Second and 15 now for Iowa. It looked like an Indiana man jump, but no call. Morse out there. Almost a diving reception. Mark Suter. Morse. It appears that Indiana is offside, but no flag. Smith was the man who jumped. Long just airs it out. And frankly, Mort had his man deep, and right there at the end, I think he was a little bit worried about maybe an interception. And that little deep to the inside caused that pass to go incomplete. Third and 15 now for the Hawkeyes. They need to get into Indiana territory at the 48. Green pass, Granger. He's got a wall of blockers ahead of him. He's got the first down and more. Norm Granger may go all the way. Norm Granger, Iowa, touchdown. Oh, my. Norm Granger on a little screen pass to the far sideline, found his blockers beautifully, and just went all the way for the touchdown. Long shows tremendous poise right here as he let the man through. That's what made the play right there. Granger got away from that man. It's off to the races. This guy can scoot for a 220-pounder, can he? Norm Granger. Wow. Tommy Nickel into the ball game. A chance to put Iowa back up on top, 21 to 17, and it's perfect. Iowa leads it, 21 17 over. Lee Corso frantically walking around on the sideline. Can his Hoosiers stop the Iowa Hawkeyes? They're certainly not going to be able to return this one, huh? Reggie Roby right through the upright. So after an 88 yard drive, caps off with a Chuck Long to Norm Granger's 63 yard touchdown pass. Indiana starts first and 10, their first possession of the third period at the 20 yard line. Babe Loffenberg again the quarterback. Orlando Brown, the number one rusher for the Indiana Hoosiers. Coming off that hit pointer, gains about six. Tony Wankett makes the stop for the Iowa Hawkeye. Phillips got a touchdown. Loffenberg hit Boyd late in the first half to make it 17 14, and then it was long to Granger to make it 21-17. And a fumble. And Iowa has the football. Loffenberg just never got that handoff off. And Clay Eulenhake with his second fumble recovery of the afternoon. Clay Eulenhake, the big senior tackle, makes the fumble recovery at the 27-yard line. And Orlando Brown just didn't go to the right spot. Loffenberg was expecting him a little bit closer. And Clay Eulenhake just happened to be the man on the football. 21 to 17 aisle. And a chance to put more points on the scoreboard. A game very reminiscent of last year's game in which 70 points were scored. Long again at quarterback. And Gill fumbles the football right back to Indiana. So Indiana has the football right back after Owen Gill tops it up. 10.46 left to play in the third quarter. Iowa leads it 21 to 17. This is almost how the game started out. Indiana fumbled, and Iowa fumbled it right back. We'll see what happens this time. First and 10, Indiana. Loffenberg, again the quarterback. Walsh and Orlando Brown behind him. Loffenberg was nearly perfect in the first half, and this time he hits Scott McNabb. It's tied in wide open over the middle. Another Indiana first down. So Indiana trying to capitalize. A little screen pass to Orlando Brown. He's got some running room, and he can fly. Bobby Stoops makes the tackle on Orlando Brown. But the ball... 
Little comes in to replace Eulenhage. First and 10, Indiana. 10 minutes left to play in the third quarter. End around again. This is Boyd. And Bobby Stoops brings him down at the 44-yard line. A gain of just two. They tried that play a couple of times. And Boyd has just not been able to get free. Tackle on John Boyd. Indiana out of the shotgun. Second down, seven and a half. Screen pass. Johnny Salter. Knocked down after a gain of two. Johnny Salter is a pin can audibleize very well. He'll start out of the shotgun. Orlando Brown and Walsh went back with it. Third and five for Babe Loffenberg and company. Almost intercepted, almost caught by McNabb. Larry Station with Fridge on his man was able to break up the pass intended for another man. Indiana in punt formation and a short boot. And it takes an Indiana bounce, really, because they were able to down the football at the 11-yard line rather than the ball go out of bounds. On its own 11-yard line, leading 21-17. The handoff straight ahead goes to Eddie Phillips. He'll gain about three yards up near the 14-yard line. This game looming very big now after Northwestern's victory over Minnesota, their first in the Big Ten since 1977, and Wisconsin's upset victory of Ohio State. High set behind Chuck Long. Second and seven. Long on the option. He'll keep it. And gain about four or five yards before he's brought down by Dennis Edwards, the junior out of East St. Louis. Instead has replaced him at fullback. Eddie Phillips is the tailback. The pitch will go to Phillips. Can he get to the outside? No, he can't. A great defensive effort by Marlon Evans. Marlon Evans, number 17. Stop Eddie Phillips trying to turn the corner on the near side from Mark Weiler. So Weiler and Evans combine to make the tackle. And a loss of one on the play, and Reggie Roby literally in the shadow of his own goal line. Winded his back. Low snap, and it's blocked. It is blocked. A low snap. Reggie took his time, and it is blocked. First in goal, Indiana. Loffenberg with Walt and Brown behind it. Gun in motion. Orlando Brown for a gain of one. Larry Station greets him head on. Clay Eulenhake is there as well to help out. Can the Hawkeyes stop the Hoosiers once again? They did it earlier in the second quarter. Gun in motion. Loffenberg to Brown to the two-yard line. Yakulo. Mitchell, two, near the goal line. Here it comes. Loffenberg on the pitch to Brown. Can he get outside? No. Tackle back for a big loss at the 10-yard line. Ron Hawley made the stop on Orlando Brown, who just couldn't get wide. And some boobers here in Indiana came so drastically. Doug Smith in the ball game. And it's good. And Iowa now leads 21 to 20. We'll be right back. When I was and here's the boot from Fitzgerald. It's Love Jordan at about the nine yard line. Fights his way up to about the 27. Goes into the shotgun with Chuck Long, the quarterback. They lead it 21 to 20. Quarterback draw. Game three. Long trying to set up the screen again to Granger. This is the one that went for a touchdown. This time, Granger is tackled at about the 46-yard line. Another big game, however. Marlon Evans making the tackle. A first down for the Iowa Hawkeyes. 2.44 left to play in the third quarter now. Iowa leading at 21 to 20. Long again, back to pass. Look, he's got a man wide open. Love Jordan. 
and he's got it down to the 21 yard line. Love Jordan just had to hope that the ball came down in time. That's how wide open he was. Jeff McBain makes the tackle. First and 10 now, drop play. Granger, big hole up the middle. Down inside the 15, down to about the 11 yard line. Another Hawkeye first down. Iowa, the ball at the 10 yard line. I formation. Hand up will go to Phillips. He'll fight his way for a couple of yards. That's it. Mark Weiler playing an outstanding second half. Weiler making the tackle for Indiana. A gain of, guess what? They lost to Iowa. Phillips in the backfield. He was lucky to hang on to the football. Tackle back at the 12 yard line. Evans and Weiler are there. Conservative go for the field goal and you put the ball up. They're gonna put the football up. Long, looking to Granger. He's not gonna get in, however. No blocking set up at all. Jeff McBain, the first man to make contact, along with Mark Weiler. Granger picks up a 24-yard field goal attempt from the left pass mark, and it's good. And Iowa now leads it 24 to 20. Just four seconds gone here in the fourth quarter. 24 to 20, Bobby Howard and Dwayne Gunn back deep for the Indiana Hoosiers. And here's Roby's boot. And I don't think they're going to return this one. Gunn seven yards deep. He's going to bring it out. He can fly, but can he get open? Well, how about that gamble? Gunn gets across the 20-yard line up to about the 23. Iowa leads Indiana 24 to 20 with 14.50 left to play in the ball game. Pass almost caught, almost intercepted. Just a few seconds off the clock and Laufenberg now into the shotgun. He's been passing very effectively on the Hawkeyes this afternoon. Good pass rush. He's not going to get this one away. And Tony Wenchin gets the first quarterback sack of the afternoon. We mentioned earlier that Iowa had to get a good pass rush on, and that time they got it from Tony Wenchin. Plenty of time, it appears. Loffenberg just can't find his man open, so some good coverage there, and Wenchin just beat his man. Jonathan Hayes has replaced Larry Station in the Iowa lineup. They have their pass defense and a quick boot. A quick kick. Let's see what kind of a ground this gets. Ron Hawley, can they set it up? No, they can't. Ron Hawley went back and got that football at about the 33-yard line. And the quarterback for Iowa, rolling this way. He's got Mortz out there. Mortz has the reception and the first down at the 44-yard line. Jeff McBain on the coverage for Indiana. A first down for Iowa. That's Morse lining up to the far side, along with Harmon. The inside handoff, again about four yards. Mark Smith made the tackle for Indiana. Phillips behind Law. Love Jordan and Morse, the wide receiver. And it's Morse. Up near the first down marker, he'll be about a yard shy. Jeff McBain over there, along with Dennis Edwards play in the ball game. Power set. And Long keeps the football, and he will not have the first down. Mark Smith led a surge of Indiana Hoosiers, and Chuck Long had two men who could have picked up the football, but decided to keep it himself. It seems just about each time that Long goes to that option, he keeps the football. He has not been pitching out very much. Granger was wide open, could have picked up the first down. The man over the middle, Eddie Phillips, went over the top, would have had the first down, but Long did not have it. So a punting situation. The last time, Roby got a low snap and had it blocked. Let's see if Indiana puts the rush on again. Reggie Roby going for the corner. Wilbur signals for a fair catch. It takes an Indiana bounce, and Jonathan Hayes will down the football at the 19-yard line. Anna Loffenberg out of the shotgun. 
The ball at the 19-yard line. Here comes the blitz. Fires out here complete to Dwayne Gunn. Dave Strobel was coming in from his defensive end position, but had trouble making his decision on what school he wanted to go to. Went to Missouri and Stanford, then went back to Pierce Junior College and finally ended up at Indiana. Doing a great job here. He's in trouble. Orlando Brown with the reception. At the 38-yard line, Tony Wenchett making the tackle for Iowa. Four. Orlando Brown, nada. Larry on the way to Corso Gamble. I formation. Hand off to Brown. And a loss. A big hit by Mark Bort. All Big Ten. And because of that loss, Indiana will now punt the football. The Boo Birds are out again. Some people very surprised with some of the play calls coming from the Indiana sidelines. Very effective through the air, but on crucial downs here in this half, Corso was elected to run, and you just can't run that well against Iowa. Iowa a little bit concerned about a fake punt, so they'll just let that football go. Can it be down inside the five? Yes, it will be on the two-yard line. Well, Iowa took a gamble. They didn't put a safety man back there. And so that ball finally, 28-59 left to go in the ball game. Iowa at its own two-yard line. And Granger will get the call and bring it out to the five. Steve Mormon. Second and seven. I formation. The handoff again to Granger. Fighting for yardage. This time picks up about five yards. Up near the 10-yard line. Third and third. A long two. Long, rolling, firing. He's got Love Jordan up. Big catch out of the 18-yard line. I want to tell you, J.C. Love Jordan has got to be one of the most tremendously improved football players on this Hawkeye squad. 18-yard line. 7.05 left to play. Eddie Phillips with the pitch. Nowhere. Marlon Evans. There again. No wonder he was all Big Ten a couple of years ago, huh? Eddie Phillips being the class guy that he is. And left in the ball game. Iowa leads it by four, 24-20. I formation. Gill and Phillips behind Law. And penalty markers all over the place. Too much time on the Hawkeye. After the five-yard march off, it's Iowa's ball now second and 15. They need to get across the 28 to pick up a first down. Long will fade. Look. He's got some time. Now he's in trouble. And he crossed up the football. But Iowa has it. Iowa has it. Mark Smith is down there. But the Hawkeye with the football is big. John Relk, long with plenty of time, tried to dance away, and top 525 left. Draw play, Gill, can he get outside? No, gain of five. Indiana will get the football back after a big play by Jimmy Hunter. Five oh eight left. And he's hammered down after a gain of maybe 10 on the return to the 39-yard line. And Indiana, the ball on their own 39-yard line. Dave Loffenberg, the senior co-captain, out of the shotgun. Fires out to Dwayne Gunn. He's got an Indiana first down into Iowa territory at the 41-yard line. Iowa put on a good pass rush that time, but Gunn was wide open. Bobby Stoop. In those minutes and seconds, this game will be settled. Gun in motion. Loffenberg shotgun again. Trying to fire the screen. Overthrows Orlando Brown. Incomplete pass. Set it up second and ten now. Clock stops. 4-0-3 left.
Draw play. The fullback. Johnny Salter. One yard. The Boo Birds are out again. Play Ulenick making the tackle. These Indiana fans don't even want to see the ball on the ground. They trail it by four. Third down, nine yards to go. Loffenberg out of the shotgun. Twin back. Gun is on the right side. Loffenberg looking, looking. He's got Orlando Brown. And they've got him at the 36-yard line. A gain of just two on the play. It'll be fourth down. It will be fourth down and six to go. Loffenberg didn't even look Gunn's way on the far sideline. And fired out here in the near flat. Orlando Brown wrestled down. Fourth down and six. Indiana needs to get the football to the 30-yard line. This might be the deciding play of the ball game. Three minutes left. Loffenberg, I formation, play action, looking to Gunn. Gunn's got it at the 20-yard line. First down, Indiana. Devon Mitchell making the tackle for Iowa. Dwayne Gunn with the wrist four left. First and 10, Indiana. Loffenberg looking for Gunn. He's wide open in the end zone. Can't come up with it. Gunn had his man beaten. Corbin. That's the man to look for. Loffenberg. Looking over the middle. Intercepted! Intercepted by Hawley. He just holds on to the football. He was going to do his victory dance. As Loffenberg looked over the middle, Hawley with a game-saving interception. What a tremendous job by Ron Hawley. The pass intended for Johnny Salter. Loffenberg looking. There's Salter's number five. The pass just underthrown just a little bit. And Ron Hawley comes away with the game-saving interception. First and 10 Iowa with the ball at the 19-yard line. Hand off to Phillips. He'll try the far side. First down, can he get outside? He runs out of bounds, but he picks up the first down and gives Iowa some great field position. Of course, this Indiana team has really got to be down right now. They really felt that they had a chance to go ahead. In fact, on the play prior, as we take a look again at Eddie Phillips, Loffenberg had gun wide open in the end zone and just couldn't hit it. So Eddie Phillips picks up the first down, the ball up to Owen Gill, and it's Phillips. He'll try it inside. Get maybe a yard before Mark Weiler brings him down. The clock's moving now. Nope. Indiana will call a timeout. Clock a couple of more times. The Hawkeyes lead it by four, 24 to 20. This is Phillips. He doesn't want to go out of bounds. And he's tackled before doing so. Indiana will call another timeout. After Jeff Bain, McBain makes the tackle with 155 left. He's got a lot of time left. 155. Long. On the keeper. He'll turn and go the other way. At this point, you just don't want to pick up a clip. No flags down. In fact, we haven't had very many flags the whole football game. Tim Wilbur made the tackle for Indiana. Very close to a first down. He'll be about a yard shot. And Reggie Roby punting now. Reggie just needs to get it off. And he goes for the corner. Tim Wilbur. At the 19-yard line. And Wilbur's not going to break this one as he gets it back to about the 29. 57 seconds left. Iowa will drop its deep back way back. About the 50-yard line. Loffenberg in trouble. And he's got a man out there. It's complete to Boyd. Boyd still on his feet, fighting for yardage. Indiana has no timeout, but the clock will stop with the first down. First down into Iowa territory at the 47-yard line. Three seconds, 42. Loffenberg, incomplete pass. But that stops the clock with 38 seconds left. 
The pass intended for Terry Smith. Loffenberg out of the shotgun. Three-man rush by Iowa. Three deep backs, real deep. And Salters will go out of bounds at the 39-yard line. A pickup of eight yards. 34 seconds left. Third down and two. Loffenberg, shotgun again. Gun on the far sideline. Loffenberg looking that way. And Gun drops the football at the 20-yard line. Gun is one of the most sure-handed guys around, but he just plain drops that ball at the 20-yard line. But first down here with 30 seconds left, or it's history. Loffenberg looking again. Firing out to Gun. He's got it. He goes out of bounds. He goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. 25 seconds left. Still play sideline. Loffenberg shotgun. 25 seconds left. Iowa leading it by four. Looking. Interference inside the 10-yard line. The pass intended for Terry Smith. Zane Corbin with the interference. 20 seconds left at the 8-yard 20 seconds left. Nervous time. An exciting ball game. First and goal for Indiana. They have no timeouts left. Dwayne Gunn split to the far sideline. Boyd to the near sideline. Loffenberg shotgun again. Twin back. Here we go. And he can't get in. It's McNabb. He can't get in. The clock will not stop. And that's the ball game. Iowa has won it. McNabb did not get in. McNabb did not get in. Iowa stays unbeaten in the Big Ten. They beat Indiana 24 to 20.